We do want to bring in a longtime bear. Steve Lehman is the senior portfolio manager at Federated Investors, which has $350 billion in assets under management. He's been saying the S&P 500 may be in for a large decline. Steve, great to see you. So is this the beginning of this decline? Well, I have no idea if this is the beginning of the major decline. Um, we've thought for some time, I and my partner Dana Meissner have thought for some time that equities were in a topping process and that the risk-reward re risk trade-off was very poor. So there might be modest upside, uh, but s significant downside potential. So, so what happened today that is sparking the sell-off? Sorry to interrupt you. I have no idea. I mean, people do what they want to do. Greece, they feel like they want to buy being stocks. light in China. Well, you come up with any list you want, but really? people do what they what they want to do, and they look for explanations to justify it later. So, <laughs> people today evidently decided they wanted to sell stocks, and we think that more and more people will think that over time. So here in the media, you know, we discuss these reasons, these you know, global events going on, but really, it's just an excuse. Is that fair to say? Uh, I think it always is that. Uh, Bob Farrell, great market technician, retired great market technician in Merrill Lynch, used to say the market makes the news, not the other way around. But that's not how it works in our business. So you have a lot of air time to fill uh, and you need people to Are come on. Are you looking and, at technical levels? I'm just really trying to find what you're thinking about. I mean, because this is, this is kind of a violent turn today. Yeah, I mean, we we look at valuations, sentiment, and technicals when we look at any asset class. And this is a multi-asset fund that we run, a global multi-asset fund with an absolute return objective. But uh, key technical levels for us were about 1225 in the S&P. And we thought that the, the worst case for us as bears would have been maybe 1300 to 1350 in the S&P. But we think that the downside, uh, downside upside trade-off was multiples. The downside potential was multiples of the upside gain. So um, people talk about 11. 50 in the S&P is a key level. I mean, you get get you know different ways of looking at it, but 1225 was pretty key for us on a couple of uh, technical reasons, and we thought that if the market would break through above that, that then there was a chance that it might go to 1300 or 1350. But if it closes two or three days, uh, not necessarily in succession, but two or three days below 1200, and and key is if what had been leading the market, small caps and consumer discretionary technology stocks, underperform as they have been today, and I think they did last Friday as well in the sell-off, then we have more confidence to go even more short than we are because we haven't we're not very short right now at the moment because the market has been strong all right so we heard our previous guest Steve say this is pretty healthy for the market but you perhaps wouldn't exactly look at today's move as an entry point uh, pe people who are bullish uh, will call corrections healthy and then corrections become more than corrections and then they change their minds. Um, we think the, the underlying condition of the market is not at all healthy and that this is a secular bear market and it's not a new bull market and that's how we're positioned. All right. Appreciate your time. Steve Lehman is a senior portfolio manager at Federated Investors.